to this new After Effects tutorial by Motion, and today we are going to learn a lot about motion tracking. We're actually doing a series of three different tutorials all about motion tracking. In the first one we will learn all about the powerful point tracker in After Effects. The second tutorial will be about Mocha and Mina. And in the third and last tutorial, we will bring all of this one step further and learn about 3D tracking with a built-in 3D camera tracker in After Effects. So enough of me talking, let's just jump right into After Effects and get this started. So as I told you in this first tracking tutorial I will show you the basics of how to track just as you've seen with the one point tracker in the intro video. So let's bring out the video that we want to track. I have loaded a video called landscape and just drag it onto this new composition icon. And there we have it. It is a drone shot of a nice looking landscape. Okay, now let's say we want to track some of those buildings and maybe add like graphic markers to them. Like maybe this is the town hall and maybe one in the front is a farmhouse and maybe another one in the back could be the shopping mall. And then we can also try to connect those with some lines and we'll end up with some nice motion graphics overlay look. So you guessed it, we need a tracker to get the tracking going. Right here on the right side we have our tracker and if you don't see that window you can just go to window and it needs to be enabled here. We want to track the motion and that brings up a second window and we directly get our first tracking point. I'll just bring this over here so we have a little bit more space now we can jump from or composition to our layer and that happens quite often that you think you don't find the track point or you see the track point at work in the comp but nothing's happening that's because you look at the wrong window here what else do we need we need a null object because later on I don't want the tracking to be on the landscape video I want to have it on a null object and a null object is simply an object that has no visible data in it so, so it just stores the keyframes for position, scale, rotation and so on and you can later on link your graphic elements to it. So we go to layer, new, null object and by hitting the return button we can rename it and call this town hall. As we've said we want to track this building here as a town hall. Now how do we do that? At first we will set our target, let's click on edit target and there we have all the layers and we want to use the town hall as our source where the keyframes get stored into later on. Okay everything's set up. Now what we want to do, we want to zoom in really close on that building and we can drag our track point one over a region that we want to track. And let's say we want to track this black square here. So let's just bring this on the square and now what this does, there are three things you have to be aware of. The middle cross is the reference where the keyframe for the position is placed on later. This middle square is our feature. So here we define what After Effects is looking for and let's just place it around this black square and this is the search region. So when I would go one frame forward it would search for that feature that's inside this middle square 
and it would search for it inside that search region. So you could basically make the search region full frame, but it would just take a hell of a lot of time to calculate that. So I'll try to keep it as close to the feature region as possible. And normally I watch once through the clip to see how fast it moves and how big the search region should be there for. Okay, now everything is set up and we can go to our tracking tab and we can analyze backwards, analyze one frame forward or just let it go all the way through. So I'm just clicking on the one frame backward for now because we didn't start right at the beginning. And at the moment I'm just doing this one by one just to see if this works. And you can directly see what this is doing. By hitting on our landscape and hitting U, you can see where we already have keyframes for the attach point, our feature, center and the confidence. So now I just go on the last keyframe we have there already and click on analyze forward. And by holding down the spacebar, you can move the image. You can also do that by pressing down the mouse wheel. Okay, and when I scrub through this, this looks really nice. So let's click on Apply. And it asks me to apply it on the X and Y dimension. You could also take X only or Y only, but in our case this wouldn't make any sense, so let's make X and Y and hit OK. And now we're automatically back in our composition. We have keyframes for our Town Hall Null object. If I hit the U button, we can see that there are position keyframes. So now let's just quickly make a small motion graphic. I just zoom in there, maybe create a new layer, layer new, solid, make it white. Hit OK, hide it so that I can see where I'm drawing and I'll just draw a quick circle around here by holding down Control, it snaps from the center and by holding down Shift also makes a perfect circle. Okay, and now I can enable it again to see what we have there. Now let's just duplicate the mask. Now we have two times the circle and subtract it. So now we don't see it, but now let's make one bigger than the other. Now let's also create a small line. I'm still on the masking tools here. And name this our town hall. Just position this. So now if we scrap through this, our motion graphics don't follow. So all we have to do now is to go to our this graphic, go to our text and the graphics. You can select both by holding down control, go to this pick whip here and connect it to our null object. Maybe just for the sake of it, I call this town hall null so that we don't get confused with the two town halls. And when I'm playing this back now, you can see that our text is following the town hall. Exactly what we wanted. Let's do the same with one more building and then I'll do the last one and skip this so that we can go on from there. So, let's create a new null object and this time I'm using the shortcut control shift alt and y call this our farm house null once again we go to the tracker click on the landscape track motion edit our target farmhouse null and by the way it always selects the last layer you've created the top layer and we hit ok we bring our track point up 
here. Let's try if the top part of the roof works. And that seems to stick pretty good. So now at the end of this we get kind of a problem because the lens flare is going over it. But we can simply remove those last keyframes. Now we can always go just one frame forward and quickly animate this by hand. And we click on apply. X and Y, okay, and we have our second null object. Let's copy the graphics and the town hall by selecting both of them and hitting Control D. Now let's just bring that over. Call this our farm house. And last thing we have to do, we have to connect both of them with our pick whip to the farmhouse. And let's also hide our null objects. And I'm just doing the same with a third one, but I'm going to skip this a little bit. So here's another cool tip. I just tracked it and it's all a little bit jittery because it's so far in the background. So once again I separated the dimensions and when I double click on it now I have everything selected and then I can go to window, smoother and click apply. And this just creates a curve out of all of this. So now let's bring this one step further. I'll just have all the nulls here and just color code them so that I can see them a little bit better. Now let's create a shape. Just click on the pen tool and with nothing selected, we just draw a shape to the three points. And now we want to connect each of the points to one of the nulls so that all of this follows. But at first let's work on the shape a little bit. Go to the content shape and just disable the fill and the stroke. Make the stroke with 4 so we can see that. Okay, now in the new CC18 we have something called create nulls from paths and we just open that up we can just bring it somewhere here. And now we want our points to follow nulls. So, we go to the path here to select our points and create points follow nulls. And there we have three nulls. I'll also bring them down here. So now let's just click on the position of the farmhouse, hit Control C for copy, click on the position and click Control V for paste. And now it sticks to our point. And now we just do the same for the other ones. Let's click on this. This is our town hall. Copy the position and paste it onto that position. But before we do that, let's go to our first frame, because that's the point in time where the keyframes get pasted. Let's do the same once again for our shopping mall. And now let's just watch our final result. By the way, you could also do this backwards. You could draw your shape, create the nulls, and use those nulls to store the tracking data in. So if you like what you've seen here and learned today, just hit the subscribe button so I can do more of those tutorials and we can all learn from that. And I hope we see us in part two of this series where we will learn about planar tracking within Mocha. 
But for now I wish you a lot of fun with tracking in After Effects. <laughs>